I spent numerous hours in front of Toulouse Lautrec's paintings at the Jeu de Pomme. You know how kids fantasize about being like Angelina Jolie or Brad Pitt? Well, I fantasized about being Toulouse Lautrec. Come on. By sketching Christopher Wilden's choreography for many years, I am now more familiar so I can anticipate a movement and then make a judgment what might be the best way to convey it. I thought that this is a genius that is incredible. He needs to be, it needs to be documented in art. I was mesmerized by how incredible his choreography was and just what he was able to do with the dancers, the human body, and just create such emotion through dance. Seeing Christopher tell a dancer how to do something and then they do it and then he says one little thing that makes it so magnificent. And I'm like, wow, that's gorgeous. So that's what I need to capture, how he made something so gorgeous. I follow excitement and joy. I figure photography can capture different scenes, but as an artist, I have the ability to capture it in a different way, which is to make a judgment about what's most important in terms of emotion, so I can eliminate what might be distracting by not painting that. Even in the darkness, you still find beauty. When, it's, when he says, even in the darkness, you could, you could find beauty. So then I said, oh, that's what I'm going to use because it'll be perfect to, to put that right there. Now, let's hope they don't change that line. When I'm in the subway, I'm inspired. You know, I bring my sketchbook. And how I learned to draw so quickly is by uh, bringing my sketchbook. I had to sketch the person across and have it completely finished by the next stop. It's sort of like every minute is of this is my diary. By my showing the process, I feel somehow people might understand all that goes into it and appreciate it even as much as I do.